What is up, bitches? Welcome to Epileptic Gaming. It's week 148, and yes, I'm sure you've already heard that we have got uh, some interesting news for you today, and we're not going to go into that quite yet. First and foremost, I want to introduce uh, the people who help make EG possible. I'm DJ Wheat, the world's loudest human, host of Epileptic Gaming. And uh, generally pretty cold today. Of course, we've got Uwan from The Grudge uh, joining us today, uh, a.k.a. Cammie, uh, the scary... Uh, Eskimo. E Eskimo that's in <laughs> all of The Grudge movies, you know. Uh, we've got over on Chat Moderation, world-famous Robert ah! Silva. <laughs> You're looking pretty frustrated today, All right. Summer. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, oh Who, wait, was that world -famous Who was that World-famous Robert Silva for real this what? time. What? Uh, what? What? Oh, oh. Oh. oh, hello. <laughs> uh, where'd you get that floating? I didn't know that we... Actually, guys, I'm sure you've heard there's a writer strike. Oh, you can um, really see down if this If you've ever played there. Doom before, you've probably met our friend Harold. He was one of the floating, <laughs> flaming skulls that was in Doom. A, he became a writer in Hollywood, uh, fell out of work, and is now on Epileptic Gaming. That's not the big announcement, however. Oh. Uh, over on production, hey. we've got Poking Camera Call Talk. What's up? Uh, maybe I'll just start with you, dude. Okay. Um, we saw Cloverfield yesterday. Uh, Fat Baby came with us and the rest of the EG Sound crew. Sound like the cats, really. What do, you, what do you think? Before we get into like our, our epic news and shit. Okay. Uh, Cloverfield. I, I liked it. Okay. No but, spoilers, by the yeah, way. Yeah, no some, spoilers. No spoilers. I liked it, but there were some technical things, of course, that uh, like as, as, a, as a film that bothered me, but I look forward to the next like one. Like the shaky cam? Yeah, I didn't want to spoil anything, so... Well, I mean, people <laughs> know it's shit. Nobody it. knows. Holy <laughs> shit, what? This movie, holy fuck! Oh, 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 and by the Shocking. way, guys, the clover uh, field monster is a, a field of clovers. It's a giant bird, It is, actually. we were right. Yeah. 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 No, we're not going to tell you what it is. Uh, yeah. it's, it was cool, though. I was happy. I was I satisfied. Uh, I was a, I was scared. I was, you know, in suspense. Um... I, I, I liked really it. liked it. Um, I, liked I thought it. I liked it too. You know, I want to see it again. After, after I don't want to see it again. After having well, seen maybe. it, you guys, one of the most interesting aspects to me. Um, now, first and foremost, I do want to talk about uh, the transmission at the end of it. Have you guys heard about this? This transmission. I'm not talking about the final scene. I'm talking about oh. at the actual end of the credits. There's oh. this like transmission that plays, right? Say. And of course, you've got these super duper crazy fanboys that are like recording this shit and what analyzing it. Right? So, have heard you heard about this? No. Summer? Okay, so, uh, it's not spoiling anything. You guys know that a fucking giant monster attacks the city, all right? Everyone already knows that. So. Oh, God! <gasps> oh, Jesus! No. You mean, oh, my God! Why don't you just tell them oh, everything God. now? Oh, God. my Lord. So, no, at the Damn end, it. there's this, like, garbled transition, or this garbled transmission, and it sort of sounds like you can hear someone saying, help me. Oh, it's on YTMND, apparently. Yes, it is. And it was mm. called cloverfieldmessage.ytmnd.com. Right. Well, what it is is when, when they play it back, Backwards, it says it's still alive. All right, so well, you know, we already knew that. We, yeah. we sort of do think, you know. I mean, is it a lie? I they had know. trouble killing it. The, the point is, is that like they've talked a oh, lot. We just about, ruined spoilers. Will there ever be a sequel? <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> we just. Well, I mean that even. There's no I mean, fucking look, spoiler. The experience no of the movie is not the mystery. It's the actual experience of like seeing the footage and going through the experience and hearing the sounds. It's not so much the like these little details like, oh, it's a monster. I mean, right. I mean, that's not obviously, ruin it. it's a monster. Um, the uh, oh, wait, I can keep it on. Yeah, yeah you can't hang. Can no, I can't. Yeah. I'm hot, hot in a t-shirt. Right? And so here's what here's what take I want to talk off. about a little bit. I'll take it off um, before we go into our news is. Um, is what would you guys think if you saw a different perspective? That's what I. That's, that's what, what I told Hogan. Yeah, I'm like, I watch, want that. I bet the sequel is going to be from like the military perspective. Right. That's what right. I want as well. Right. Yeah. Or maybe uh, something that happens like after. Actually, you know, I want the, the perspective part. of the monster. <laughs> yeah. Would that be what about him? He's, he's just eyes. minding his own he's business. Clearly, no just dialogue played, in the movie. He's clearly <laughs> just played a game of Rampage, and he's like, "Fucking city! I know I'm supposed to smash buildings and eat people. It's not that complicated." I mean, why are why is? Or maybe the he just lost his contact. And <laughs> I don't know. But definitely, around. if you uh, if you have a queasy, uh, not so strong stomach, we you mentioned yeah, take some motion running out of it. Yeah, some chick was running out of there, like covering her mouth, <laughs> like she was about to puke. <laughs> and of course, knowing me, I pointed her out in front of everyone. I was like, "Oh my God, she's gonna throw Stupid up!" Stupid bitch! 
but 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 you know, she's calling her out. But there were a few times. Yeah. Came years okay. I've got it. I've got it. I had to sit right. there. Stop from getting sick. So I, shut up. <laughs> I had to like turn my head this way, and then I turned my head that way, and then I wore these tunnel vision goggles. It just didn't work. I couldn't. It's pretty. It it's couldn't pretty concentrate rounded. on it. But I liked it. I liked it. I think everyone should at least go out and experience it. There's definitely like. They do a good job. The Just shooting a, is... I, I oh, yeah. really love that scene with the, the very heavy military scene without spoiling too much. But, you know, with all, like, shooting and everything, and that's all you heard. You didn't hear any, you know... Over, you didn't hear the music over it or any classical music. That's it that's like just raw. it. That's just yeah. it. It definitely felt like the sound effects were cool. Holy shit! Yeah, and, and and but you make a good point. There's not a soundtrack to the movie. No, there's not a mm -mm. fucking song you ever the hear. Soundtrack except for like in is the, party the soundtrack the of life. It, that was <laughs> when really nicely put, it, Robert. Said. Giant very monster very attacks you. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> I'm deep. So uh, yeah, but overall, I mean, would you recommend this movie, Suma? Yes, I would definitely recommend this movie. You have to see it. Recommend. I would recommend it. it. If you have motion sickness, take some motion sickness pills. Dramamine, marazine, Man whatever. up. Don't be a pussy. Like Why him. is there a 7-Up just sitting here? I'll drink it. I don't know. There, there's right. a summaism for you folks. Is that a commercial? <laughs> Why Maybe is there that has something to do with our here? big announcement. Maybe. I don't know. It's been a lot of speculation, guys, but uh, I think it's kind of uh, about time to come clean. Shouldn't we say this for the end? <laughs> well, I just know. As no. you can see, I'm, I'm not kidding. holding cards. I know. So I this know. major announcement <laughs> is sort God. of the show. All right, uh, we are going to be opening up the phone lines, of course, because we want to hear your guys' thoughts, your guys' uh, criticisms. Um, as you know, we've always treated EG as a show that we make, but a lot of times we get our ideas, we get our thoughts, our suggestions from you guys, the viewers, the fans, etc. And um, you know, uh, I don't think this is devastating news by any means, but it's definitely going to be a big change. At first, when you're and it. yeah, and mm -hmm. Suma definitely the most devastating of it all. So <coughs> we were going to talk a little bit about what's going to happen. We're going to have some changes with EG. Uh, we want to talk a little bit about these changes. We're going to give you guys a forum to be able to, you know, uh, express your feelings about it. Now these are pretty much in stone right now. Uh, there's nothing you're going to say, nothing that you're going to do that's probably going to reverse this decision. But as you've probably heard me, and this is going to be a little bit different show than a lot of people are expecting. Yes, we talk about video Suspense games every day. Building. But um, <laughs> yes, but you know, again, we've had shows in the past where we want to involve you guys, the community, and this is you know one of those shows, and we, we feel like this is the best way to deliver the news and, and deliver this message. Um, so, you know, first and foremost, um, as I'm sure the uh, the rumors and the, uh, the, the speculation, thank you very much You're for welcome, lack of a better much. word, uh, are going rampant right now, Suma. Is that about Yeah, that's about right. Yeah. All right. What, just out of curiosity, what are some of the things that people think were uh, Going to G4, uh, bought by Sony, uh, EG Wii game, um, you know, Rance is coming back, uh, Cami was hired. Um, that's about it. Okay. I mean, nothing it's a about, variation of all Nothing about your gay level. Uh, yeah, I'm coming out of the closet. I'm getting <laughs> a sex Come on, we already know that's happening. Uh, you know, All right. Carmack bought EG. I just saw. What? <laughs> what? I knew he was a baller, but. All right. I really have dedicate a whole show, show. to the sexuality. <laughs> so, um, <laughs> starting on episode 96, for those of you guys that are old school enough to remember Epileptic Gaming 96, which is definitely a treat to watch. You should check it a out treat. sometime. Um, we began doing Epileptic Gaming as a video show. And up until that point, it was primarily a podcast. There was no video aspects to it. We did we did over you know ninety six uh, over a hundred episodes if you, if you depending on how you counted of just EG Classic podcast. When we moved to video, it was a very very big transition for us. You know, I had never done it. Cameron Rance came on board. Uh, Force started you know helping out, and uh, through through doing that, that's how Suma sort of got on board. That's how you know like Cami sort of got on board, and that's how we started finding these other people that we really felt were were were, were really beneficial to epileptic gaming. And um, on February nineteenth of two thousand seven is when we went daily. Uh, God. When we talked about that beforehand, it was like six weeks of discussion. Yeah, it was. We talked about it for a long time, and and f you even mentioned it, Camera. Yeah. Like what some of the people said, you know, like oh my God, I, I won't be able to handle this. That, many, that, you know? pe some people were like, oh man, I, I I can't watch, I can't watch anymore. You guys are on too much. There's too much content. Right. 
And uh, so that kind of takes us to where this announcement is going, guys. Um, and I'm immediately going to turn it to Robert Suma for the instant reaction. But, um, <laughs> well, I, we should have filmed it. I mean, we should have filmed the meeting. No, I mean the official <laughs> reaction as oh, in Oh, yeah, stick yeah. Up. Oh, well. Everyone can guess already... what your official reaction was. <laughs> Fetus, like, position <laughs> in a ball. Like, what? Go on. What? All right. No, we're not canceling EG. No, oh. we have not been bought by anyone. No, oh. we're not selling out to anyone. Oh, what? But what we are doing, guys, is we are going to make a change from the daily format to a weekly format. And that means that Epileptic Gaming is no longer... <laughs> <laughs> is that it just like... Two seconds after like, the no! fucking... No! Fail! Okay, okay, Fail! No! no. <laughs> Fair enough. I, this, is the, this is the reaction that we expected from you guys. Now... Do you want to hear the reason why, guys? Uh, because can you see the, the fireworks. Look that are at going it; off? it's fucking going. <laughs> I'm too. sure that they are gonna uh, that the fireworks are going off, and that's fine. Okay, as soon as they settle the fuck down, I will explain why. Wow. All right. um, <laughs> I don't know if they're gonna come. Down. Too bad you can't bring up Suma's screen just to show the chat. I know. Yeah. And just be like. <laughs> I'm, I don't know if they're actually it's saying just, stuff or if they're just fucking not. around, though. I can't see. All right. Well, this is why we're going to open the phone lines for you guys. Okay. Um, so, guys, okay. don't spam. You're going to be able to call All right. and say these, right. no, fuck, 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 fuck. Okay. <laughs> Let me tell you guys why, okay? First and foremost, we uh, really struggle every day to bring you guys a quality one-hour program. Yeah, they I do. I mean, you guys might watch the show and be like, this is so seamless, they must... Not do anything. It must not be that much work. They just play video games all day. It's yeah. just some um, frat boys in a basement. Yeah, with a camera. <laughs> I, I have hate a webcam. To, you know, fucking newsflash, but this show's fucking hard to make. Okay, and it takes a lot of people's effort and a lot of people's time in order to make it. I mean, you see, camera, Suma, uh, Cami, me, Tyler. You know, on the show, you don't see Don. You don't see Mahmood. You don't see Kuno Chan. You don't. You don't see. You know, sometimes Tyler. You don't see Don uh, and Chachi. Um, so Space you monkey. don't see a mirror. You don't see a lot of the other wheels that are making this fucking giant machine work. Mm -hmm. And one of the biggest problems that we have in bringing you guys more content is the fact that EG prevents us from doing that because we do do the show every day. So what we really uh, are aiming to strive for is a couple of different things. First and foremost, we want to bring you a fucking power hour of epileptic gaming every fucking week. Like, we want you guys to, to finish Epileptic Gaming and to go, that was the best fucking show I have ever seen. And I've heard right. you guys say that before. Uh, oh, in the, boy. You they, know, didn't what? Like that. they didn't like the one hour. They, I guess we didn't say that when we said it was going weekly. These guys don't understand I know, what it I know. fucking takes to I, go into we're, production. And we're not even done with the explanation, you know, people. Do you know how long it took to make Cloverfield? See, because... this is the thing, though. These people see, I told you this earlier, they see one hour, I'm crying, Monday through said. Friday, of, of, of our lives and us, and then they base that one show on the entire week. They base that one show for the entire rest of the year. You know, People don't understand that there's more behind this show. Absolutely. Okay, so first and foremost, all right, I dropped the bomb. We're going to continue to be one. One hour now we want to on bring thursdays you on thursdays is what, we're, what we're thinking time. about same time now you guys i'm sure you're saying well the fuck we're going to miss the epic ramblings of suma and wheat no you're not because that's why we're going to have a dedicated two-hour call-in show on tuesday all right right so on. you sort of see where we're going with this we want to split oh up now content. all of a sudden oh, oh yeah oh, see oh, maybe you should oh, fucking oh, let us oh, 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 oh. you fucking jackass all of a sudden you guys okay. fucking fail now, okay so <laughs> so tomorrow will mark the first ever Suma and Wheat sort of old school radio where this is going to be a call-in show for you guys that will base a whole week and two hours off of all the other shit that's going on that we wouldn't get to, that we would normally talk about every day. Because, you know what, at the end of the day, a lot of you guys want to watch the show so you could see Sum and I go at it, or you could see the host go at it. We still want to bring that to you. We're just going to bring it to you in a little bit different way. 
and that's going to be separated. So on Tuesdays, you're going to get sort of the old school, no holds barred, fucking crazy call-in show that's going to be radio style. I'm going to hop on the board. I'm going to DJ. Uh, and, and Suma's gonna be there, you know, we're gonna, we're gonna fucking sort of go back to the EG roots, and we're gonna do it that way, all right? And at the same time, move forward with an awesome one-hour oh. show. Right, right. Now, in addition to that, you guys have already seen Up All Night. We've gotten a lot of compliments about, you know, uh, Up All Night. You guys really did a great job with that, but how come they come out so fucking slow? Because <laughs> they take a long time to make. And so we want to be able to bring you up all nights on a more regular basis, not necessarily to uh, to take the place of reviews, mm -hmm. but to sort of be that additional piece of content. Right. Additionally, we're developing a one once or uh, 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 a daily news program called Eight Bit. This program is going to go over the eight sort of significant news items for the day, video game and culture related. All right? So hopefully you sort of, what? What, Simmer? Kennegut. What did Kennegut say? X-Play goes daily. EG goes weekly. What? Oh my well, God. yeah, you know what? And watch when X-Play so, fails and then they revert back to weekly. Guys, it's not Screw Attack. It's not G4. It's still the same show made by the same people in, in a more condensed, like, better format plus you're going to get more shows by the same people with the exactly. same attitude that to fit is different what... perspectives this so... is actually better for you trust us we See, wouldn't be that's... doing this because i was against this at first too i was just like you guys but when you and think about it and put yeah. it in perspective it's actually going to benefit you guys and us and our vision of basically spreading the gospel that we think gamers want to say to everyone. This will make the show more popular, we hope, and <laughs> spread the word so that it gets even better for you guys. And we you know what? I would append to that you. fantastic statement, Robert Suma. I would append to the fact that, guys, if we do this for a month and it fucking sucks, then we know we can just go back to a daily show. And okay? two times, you know, two times you should know more than anyway. We're not getting lazy. This is because we have we want to do oh more for you guys. We're gonna work anything, so much harder. This is gonna be even more to work for us. Really say that? Yeah, but I mean, I, I'm not sure if he was serious, but well, you guys I should hope know you're joking, dude. That yeah. this just means more work. People, like, we're doing more for you. Shima, let me explain to people, all right? When I walk in this door at 8 in the morning, every day, every day, we have a I show would spend, yeah. I would spend from 8 o'clock until 2 30 working on the show. What did that do? That did not allow me to work on Up All Night. That did not allow me to develop new shows. Fuck, it hardly lets me have enough time to play video games anymore. Or even eat lunch. So you guys got to yeah. understand that while it's really easy for you to consume an hour of epileptic gaming, it's really fucking hard for that hour to come out of this head right here. Uh, and, let's, and, and let's make this clear. I, I, I'm, I'm being serious. I mean, the, you know. EG will still be live. Yes. The, the, all our shows will still be broadcast the same way. They're yes. still going to be through Stick'em, Ustream, and I don't know if we're allowed to announce the other one or not, but, I mean, there's still... We're, we're, everything's still relatively going to be the same. It's just going to be of better quality for you guys. So you guys aren't sitting here wasting your time like, boring, move yeah. the show along, exactly. enough on that topic. And this so is imagine a week where you take out all those fucking boring parts and it's like, just you know, good stuff. your side hurts because well, you're just laughing good so stuff. hard. That's you're, you're gonna what need, I hey, want. You're going to need a fucking rag for all the jizz stains on your clothes. Okay? <laughs> a sock. Wow, I can't top that one. So, you know, I mean... I understand, you know, we talked about this all day long. We were like, oh my God, it's just going to be backlash. People, People are going to freak out. out. You know, <laughs> how should we tell the viewers? What we want you to do is something that I ask you guys a lot. You obviously tune into this program because you have faith in what uh, the opinions that the hosts give on the show. And with that, there has to be a certain level of trust that comes with that. So all I'm asking is that you fucking trust us a little bit to see that we want to try something new, we want to try something experimental that's not only going to benefit us, but in the long run is going to benefit you guys in terms of the amount of content you're getting. Now additionally, if it sucks, we're going to know that. I don't work on shit that sucks ass, guys. None I don't do. fucking do it. If I think something fucking sucks, I either don't air it, don't do it, or I just change it. And every right? change so, that has happened through Epileptic Gaming throughout the years has, has been, been a change for the better. Yes. It's no, all no. to make it better. Yes. Yeah. So I do want to open up the phone lines. I Good. want people to at, be able to ask questions about this. But as a quick recap, let me kind of recap 
Uh, what's going to happen is that Epileptic Gaming is moving back to a weekly format. Right now, Thursday is the, uh, is the dedicated uh, show time. And for those of you that don't know, Thursday was the original day that EG aired when it was on weekly. That means on Wednesdays, we're going to be bringing you up all night, and there's going to be an additional show that's going to air. It's going to be a little bit more competitive gaming oriented. It's going to be a little bit shorter than EG, but we want to broaden the horizon. Then we're going to have a, uh, every day a show called 8-Bit that's gaming news, um, you know, so that we fill that. And then on Tuesdays, we're going to do the call-in show. Maybe the call-in show's crazy successful. We decide to do that another day. You know, maybe, uh, you know, this show's great, or we come up with another show, we're gonna put that in on Monday. The, the idea is that we don't do EG every day so that we can bring you better content on the day EG airs, but then we can also bring you other content throughout the week. More reviews, mm -hmm. better, re more package reviews right. for you guys to you know, consume now, a little easier. Here's the, other, here's the other thing that I feel like is sort of obligatory when it comes to this, is that don't forget, it may be easy to look at our setup and see a brick wall and a few cameras and a, you know, a not quite television level production, but not amateur either. Right. At the end of the day, this fucking show costs money to make, all right? I answer to a boss and you know, these guys answer to a boss and then that, the guy that I answer to answers to another boss and that's where it sort of lets off. So you guys gotta remember that there's still directive and, and this is not something where they have come in and they've said, we're putting down the iron fist now and this is what you must mm -hmm. do. This was a, a very, like, you know, well thought, was, out. well thought out. We discussed it a lot. This is not like a decision on a, on a whim type deal. But don't forget that we've got to make the guys that are paying the bills happy as well. And this is sort of a compromise, but we feel will be a compromise that will, you know, be better uh, right off. And I know you guys are like, they, think, they of, think that we're pissing, like, they think that we're, like, insulting the fans or we're doing a disservice. The show's going to be worse. I mean, just wait and how see. How do you know, just though, how the show's going to be if we haven't done anything you know, different this is yet. the same, yeah. I'm and it's not, don't think calls. of it as once a week. You're getting EG still. It's just going to be in different, like, bite-sized, you know, formats. It's like, you know, you can still go to McDonald's and get different things on the menu, but it's still the... McDonald's or whatever. So I mean, that was a fucking yeah. weird analogy, dude. <laughs> I just saw burgers and right, sumo we, order. We've got a caller. Let's I'm a Big out. Mac. All right, that's <laughs> what I want to say. Uh, caller, you're on the air. What's up, Wheat? What's up, everyone? Uh, it's DJ Silent. What's up, dude? Hey. Can you guys hear me? Yes. Yep. Oh, okay, there we sorry. My mic's been weird. Anyway, uh, back to what I was going to say. Uh, I was really cool when you guys had the one hour, sh or not the one hour, the one show of the week. And when you went to the five day weeks, it was really difficult to watch it, especially with like you know my workout schedule and school and work and all that. It just became really, like really difficult. And uh, I like I like the fact that you guys are going back to one show a week and the call in show because that's a that's a much better way to do it, and that's how I see like Revision Three and other IPTV networks doing it. So right. I think that's now, a good idea. Keep it Keep in mind, too, is that we wanted to eliminate the call-ins from EG and give them their own show. Mm -hmm. Because in the grand scheme of things, the call-in shows often took a large portion of the show, but weren't necessarily pertinent to, you know, the entertainment value of the show. Um, in fact, in some cases, it fucking made the entertainment value of the show go down. So to me, that's actually something crucial that we are able to separate, to mm -hmm. say, this is your outlet show right here. You can be as big of a jackass as you want. But when it comes to epileptic gaming, we want this show to be ace. Mm -hmm. We don't want some jackass caller to call in and say, you know, the Until end bomb fuck on, the, on the air. So I appreciate the fact that you identify with that. Now, one thing I do want to point out, Silent, is that I'm sure we're dealing with two different in types of individuals here. One guy that's kind of like you, that's like, hey, when the show went daily, I couldn't keep up with it every day. You know, so this type of announcement is perfect for me because EG once a week, it was great. It, it comes in nice little morsels, I can, I can take it. What I want to point out is to the guys that are, that, that are pissed about this, that want their content every day, I'm trying to tell you that there will be content every day that won't necessarily be EG, that right. will be made by the EG crew. But you're not fucking listening to me. <laughs> you're just hearing that EG's not gonna be on every day, no. and that's all you're hearing. <laughs> so open your fucking ears and hear that there will be content coming every day. 
whether that is in the form of EG or whether that's in the form of a Colin show or whether that's in the form of Up All Night or whether that's in the form of Sum and I's new debate show that we haven't even told you guys about. Can't that's wait no. for that. Can't but you know ask. what? I can't develop these shows. Sum and I can't develop these shows. Cammy can't help develop. Camera can't work on the production of these shows because we're too busy doing EG every day. So we have to make a compromise in order to make sure that this happens. And I know I sort of took the call over silent, but oh, you yeah. came in and, and it was a perfect time. And it's to starting start. this week too. I mean, yes, it is. And, uh, we're just starting. I, I totally understand from the stupid little shit I was producing at one point and the stuff I'm starting to work with to move and stuff now that doing this is not easy. It's a lot of work just to get. I mean, like I've just been working with my lighting set up and my right. camera work, my audio and all that. It's a huge pain in the ass. And I mean, you guys are my student and everything, but you have to. The amount of work it takes to plan one show is a lot. It's ridiculous. And I don't think people realize that. And like before I started talking with everyone in the production there over at GGL, I thought it was simple and basic. It was just you, the people I see on camera, developing stuff. But no, like like you were saying, you you got Don and Chachi and Mahmood and everyone in the background doing all that. And people need to realize that. And I think um, that what you were saying earlier about how you know people are afraid they're not getting the same amount of content, they're getting diversified content they're not exactly. just getting exactly exactly and you they're know what more than just EG. and that same token silent think about how many forum threads i've read that's like oh the show's the same shit over and over yeah. it's like great you know what you know why because we fucking are on every goddamn day you know this if there's no the news for three days day. That's why it gets to be that way. So, you know, you also got to look at it from a perspective of like, oh, well, maybe that would alleviate that. Like, maybe that would, maybe they won't talk about Xbox Live being down every day. Well, guess what? We won't hey, because we, we're not, you know. As uh, someone was nice enough to point out, we do get weekends off. I mean, are you oh. that lazy? <laughs> oh, because we, we, we definitely party on the weekends and not fucking talk about work or deal with work with. <laughs> <laughs> That's so retarded. All right, silent. Asshole. I really appreciate your phone call, Wait, dude. Why are you sleeping at night? It's You're such not, a lazy no bastard, shit, dude. You know, you know what? God. Just don't eat anymore. Don't see your family, <laughs> and you know you can make this your living environment. Sit in front of the camera and keep it on live 24 hours, so people will be happy. Right. We have a new caller if you want. All right, let's bring on new caller right now. Hey guys. I uh, can you guys hear me? Yes, yeah. just fine. Okay. Uh. Uh, you said that you were gonna do a competitive gaming show, we a what or something that was uh, something that was oriented for like competitive gaming. Yes, yes, because um, we've been, you know, first and foremost, uh, if you guys don't know my history, I did not start in consoles. I started in competitive PC gaming, and I sort of, I mean, I was always into consoles, but EG has sort of made me like the console guy now, okay. but. I want to, for a couple reasons, I want, you know, we've had professional gaming guests on the show, um, we've had professional gaming segments on the show, but sometimes a lot of people didn't quite want those segments or understand those segments, so I felt that it would be better if we had a separate show that was professional gaming oriented. Now, I'm actually working alongside with Mahmood, who if you guys are familiar with Mahmood, know that he is also a professional player, or ex-professional player, knows a lot about the industry, and so that's another project that I wanna work on, that I can't because EG occupies my time every day. So yes, we are gonna work on a competitive show. Uh, we'd like to do it once a week. We may start it out like maybe, you know, uh, every other week just to see, just to sort of get a format going. But I think that it's something that I'm still passionate about, but I don't get a chance to talk about it that much because I find the EG audiences doesn't really particularly like the professional gaming stuff, which yeah, is fine, you know? So that's great. We'll separate them. And the guys exactly. that want to learn about it, they can go over here. But that means that I'm not going to fucking book Angel Munoz for a whole episode of EG because we got enough people. Like, why the fuck you put this guy on EG? Well, to me, he's really interesting. To the professional gamers out there, he's really interesting. Mm -hmm. To maybe the general EG fan base, not so much. Seems like that deserves to be on this show. Now, I don't have to bring on CGS players anymore because they'll go on the other show. So this is like, see, people just are so quick to make these knee-jerk reactions, mm -hmm. yeah. but all they have to do is really fucking think about oh, it Oh, the people in Stick'em now, like every once in a while, I'm like, oh. Oh, yes. that's cool. When does that show start? <laughs> See? Oh, All right. Oh. So suddenly, oh, yeah. Oh. I mean, that's oh. why I said oh. and why I want, like, the theme of the show needs to be you fucking tune in every day for an hour to hear the words that come out of this mouth. 
So trust it a little bit. Trust the words that are coming out. Yes. And, un, and, and trust good. that if we do something and we feel it's great, then we're going to keep doing it. If we do something we think it sucks, we're going to revert back to what mm -hmm. you know we know works. And it, it's, it's going to be dependent on what the community says and you know what your guys' feedbacks are. You know, maybe you'll get the opportunity to say, hey, this show sucks, guys. Put something else there. But you know, one thing you can know is that you're going to get a quality hour of EG every day on top of everything else we're doing. So, um, yeah, I also have another question. Yes. But before I ask that question, I want to say I'm I'm very excited about the com uh, the competitive gaming show because I got introduced to EG through your shoutcasting. Awesome. Week, so nice. Seeing you go back to competitive is really uh, and exciting for me. That's our roots, and brother. I appreciate that, Seek, because I've Thank gotten you. a lot of emails from people to be like, "Yo, you know." I I haven't seen you around in the game, the pro gaming world that much. And well, that's because my world is EG right now, but my world needs to be all of this. Mm -hmm. And you know, obviously you guys know how passionate and know how much I love EG, but at the same time, like, you know, other, other things need attention. And I think this is an opportunity for us to like make EG the best it can possibly be each week and not have me sitting in my desk at two o'clock reaching for shit to talk about. Um, so, yeah. Yeah, sounds good. I'm definitely open, open to the uh, new format. All right. Because well, uh, my I... next question is. Uh, oh, one more. How's this going to affect? I'm sorry. How's how's this going to uh, affect the uh, the amount of guests we have on the show? Um. Well, I think what it'll do is it will affect. Uh, I think that we you. I think that our goal actually is to have a guest on every show in a shortened, more shortened form. And that's why you've been seeing a lot more guests on because we've been trying to figure out how do we incorporate guests properly. But I think that your real question lies in, we will ha not have a pro gaming guest on EG because we've got a show where it fits in properly. Mm -hmm. We will have like console gaming related guests um, for this show or, you know, does that make sense? We we yeah. feel like we can put the right guests in the right show spot if they're you know if they're definitely we still aspects. want guests every week. Yeah, I mean the goal would be to have them every week at a certain time on EG. I mean that would be ideal. Um, is that going to happen in the, in the first couple months? I don't know. It might, but you know we're not we don't not want people on. But you know we've we've also had fairly mixed reviews about some of the guests we've had on. You know, you you, you like minus guys like Jason Rubin and and Kyle Peschel, who I could have done three hour shows with those guys. If we can land those types of interviews, right. Maybe we'll just do a whole fucking separate show that week mm -hmm. that's like one hour with Kyle Peschel. It doesn't have to take up EG's time. We can do that content in another format, and you're still getting it through the EG guys. You know that's. Um, you know, if we have someone more like Greg Baldwin who comes on for like 10 minutes of the show, that's going to be more appropriate than I think like, oh, we got Kyle Peschel on, let's give him 10 minutes. No, let's give Kyle the hour, but we'll put it on during the week as additional content on top of what you're going to get from EG every week. So, um, I don't think, you know, the people who are still worried, I don't think it's, it's not like EG is going to be gone and then you'll have this little thing. It's going to be more of EG and just in, in directed ways. I mean, um, these guys really do listen to, to well, the forums and the emails. They, they are here to make things better for you. If you like reviews, then there's going to be a show for reviews. If you like a certain you know, topic being debated over and being screamed about, well, there'll be a show for that right, day. Right. It's more of what you want, and it'll be more structured, and there'll be a lot more better content, and, and it'll be stress-free. For the people that have been writing on the forums that have been like, Suma's ruined the show because Suma and Wheat just go back and forth, and they yell all the time. Well, then guess what? Then the Suma and I's debate show is going to be perfect for you, and we're eliminating some of that content from Epileptic Gaming. You know, it's like we, and Cammy said it best, we're definitely listening to you guys like you know we get questions how come you don't review this show how come you don't review this game how come you don't review this game, this <laughs> no, game? It's like, no that's the best part of the show what is people <laughs> Us screaming, yelling then, at then oh, you're God. gonna like the fact that Thursday. we're gonna have a whole fucking show <laughs> dedicated to it then all right and and you know we're gonna make people uh, happy that way but like you know and like Cammy said is like if we we always said oh we're gonna do rev reviews on Thursday well what if five games come out that week 
you know? Um, we, and we review one of them, then we miss out on the other four games. We want to be able to maybe put one of those reviews on EG, and then the other reviews we produce outside of the office, they get released during the week, you know? So we're still going to try to do that same level of coverage. We're just going to release it a little bit different. Uh, what you might have saw on live, you would then maybe just watch on YouTube or on the EG site, et cetera. We've got another caller. Uh, let's go ahead and take said caller. Welcome to the show. Hello. 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 Hi. Yeah, um, I got to say, uh, uh, fuck all those people on Stick Camp talking about Cammy and shit like that. You know what I'm talking about? They're talking shit about Cammy. Right. Second of all. Um, oh, you don't thanks for like, that update. <laughs> Second of all, I what? know they talk shit about me. Second of all, what? Part of the show? Yes. So she's like a GGO member now. Like, oh, is she? Oh, actually, she's the highest paid. Yeah, she's uh, the president. GGO employee the now. now. Yeah, we I, just, she owns it. We've moved her right into CEO, See, just like that. I am making these changes. You guys don't know, but it's it's me that's yeah, causing all fault. these problems. It's yeah, fault. it's all me. Just blame it all on me. That's cool. I can do that. There you go. I'll, I'll, that's fine. I'll, I'll put all the blame on you. That's totally all right. cool. Um, also, I got, a, I got a 360, and I've been having problems with live and shit like that. COD4, uh, I lost all my achievements. Jesus Christ. And fuck the 360. I'm going to go sell it, and I'm going to buy myself a PS3. You it's said it, not me. <laughs> I am not saying a Somebody word. Somebody made I'm it not up. Saying I'm anything. not saying This is a paid actor. <laughs> Good to hear, brother. Carpe diem, caller. Carpe uh -huh. diem. Did you lose your Call of Duty multiplayer achievements? Because I don't think there is any. Did you? Or the single player one? everything. No, she, everything. I, I think he, she means the, uh, the, you know, the perks and stuff. You lost your perks? Did you lose the perks or the actual achievements? Did you go prestige? <laughs> uh, uh, I, I lost the online play. I don't, I don't know the purge or the prestige on that, but, yeah, I lost nah, it. Nah, son. All right. And the thing is, I just got my. Hey, you're a little pitchy, pitchy. caller. You're a little pitchy. Oh, I'm sorry. Shut up. Yeah. All right. Hey, but caller, yeah, appreciation. Call. Thank you. Appreciation. Thank you for letting uh, me know, Stick. What is uh, what I, after the initial blowout that was Stick? Of what kind of general uh, consensus are we hearing? Uh, I think most people have calmed down. Thank um, you. A lot of people are mad at me because um, I'm not saying that a lot of people in Stickum are saying stuff about Cammy. And uh, I think most people will accept it, and they'll get over it, and it'll be fine. As pretty much as what happened, like when we went daily. Yeah. I think I think when we started program. finally talking about the other programs coming, the fact that there's going to be a show of me and you just yelling at each other, the fact there's going to be a call-in show, the fact there's going to be more reviews and all this other stuff that, right. that finally soothed things. Like we're not people are just like change. Away. That's oh. all, you know. We're just moving it around. I want to also say, I used to watch this show a lot, and I used to work at a restaurant, and I would work at 4 o'clock the time that EG would air, and I wouldn't watch it till I came home later on midnight or 1 o'clock when it's, you know, finally uploaded somewhere else. <laughs> I'm, I'm one of those people who didn't watch the show live every day, but I still fucking watch it every day. This is just going to help those people who, you know... <laughs> Who aren't oh. watching right now? <laughs> Who aren't you, watching you right like now? That, I obviously, coughed and I didn't even. Move I know. My mouth. I didn't know what the fuck Venture looked like. That was camera. I forgot. What I was a saying. caller. Yeah. yeah. About the yeah. show being at at, uh, at night and then uploading. That was a good story, Tammy. Good job. Yeah, I lost <laughs> it. I think I knew where you were going with that, and then the whole cough good job, thing caller. Happened. <laughs> Thanks, Callers, caller. You broke the Throwing concentration in the studio here. <laughs> I hope you have Sorry. something awesome to say. Sorry about that. That's I got okay. a cold anyway. <laughs> Yeah, I just gotta say that I trust you guys, because um, because you got um, you even said that if if the sh no one likes the show, uh, you change it back by like what, after the first month? Well, I, I I don't know. Maybe that's in a week. Maybe we're like, oh my god, this fucking sucks. Let's do it. <laughs> but I mean, we're not. We're it. This is like I said, an experiment, you guys. The EG has always been trial and error. This fucking show started as an idea on a piece of paper as a podcast in 2003. And look where it is at now, okay? But every time we reach these milestones, we have to evaluate the program and go, what can we do to evolve this? What can we do to make it better? What's the next now, step? Now, there's a lot of stuff that you guys will never realize that goes on in the background. And that's where the whole trust thing comes in, is that you guys just got to put a little bit of trust in us that, you know, A, we're going to be making the right decisions for us as well as you guys. 
So, um, you know, again, I appreciate, you know, you guys putting that level of trust in. And yes, the answer is yes. If we feel like we're not getting uh, what we want to get out of it, then we'll go back to it. But if we feel like it's a good success, if we feel like we're putting out quality content, people like the new shows that we're doing and we've got these going on a regular basis, there may not be any reason to change back. I think that it's more of like, you guys got to give us this opportunity to try this out. We're not making any drastic changes unless you consider being able to watch more content a drastic change. Yeah, you're not going to get an hour of EG every day, but you might get an hour of something else. It's just, you know. It's still EG. It, it's right. It's still epileptic gaming. It's just not like this. Right. I hope that um, makes sense. Yeah, I I also, um, is there like a chance of an occasional freestyle show? I mean, you guys are bored and just, you know, do an extra hour for show. Like our pre-show? Well, <laughs> That's I mean. always there. I mean, dude, I think that you guys really need to <laughs> tune in tomorrow to the call-in show because I think you're going to get a whole new experience that you've not experienced ever before. Now, you know, I, I am no stranger to that board that camera's sitting on over there. And, you know, that's where I started. Um, I'm going to channel the inner fucking talk radio DJ of myself and show you guys a whole nother aspect of EG that existed long ago that you guys probably have no idea about. Um, it's from that, fun per shit you know, too. from that perspective, um, you know, I, I think that yeah, I think that people just need to watch tomorrow's show. Um, Do we know yet if it's gonna be video or radio? A lot of we're getting a lot of that question. Okay, I'm sorry. When I say radio. I mean that I'm not radio going style. to right radio style. So basically, this is the main shot. Exactly. Do, do, exactly. This. That's the main shot right the there, seat. and oh. that is the secondary shot right there. It is radio. You're going to be able to fire it on on Stickum or Ustream, whatever. Listen to it if you want a game. Sit there and chat. And you call wanna, in, and, and answer questions. You know, and, and it could be anything from gaming to Sum and I watching stupid videos to us arguing about you know him hating Terminator and I don't. You know, <laughs> but it's the kind of shit that you want to see on EG anyway. That most people are like, God, this isn't even about video games. Why is it fucking on there? Blah 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 blah. So again, it's like, you know, you could speculate on all this, but have faith in us. Tune in, you know, tomorrow. Now, do I think that we're going to be reaching this level of quality on Thursday that we want to achieve? No. You're going to have to give us a little bit of time because this is just as a big a change for us as it is for you guys. So Even keep that so. in mind. So. You guys still going to be over Stick'em? Still over Ustream? Like yes. I said before. Nothing is going to change about how you watch They want to know about Force. There's also a lot of Force questions. Okay, so Force will continue to be on the show. Um, I've already spoken to Force. Force, believe it or not, is actually pro this, okay? And I want to tell you guys uh, why. Uh, partially because, you know, it's tough for Force. He works as a teacher. You guys may not know this, but Force doesn't get paid a fucking dime to be on the show. He does it because he loves you guys, and he does it because he loves video games. So what we're talking about doing with Force is, uh, you know, again, this isn't in stone, but what I would personally like to do, and I have no problem talking about it right here, this is an open forum right now, is that I would like to get Force's own video camera. And in, in my opinion, I think Force is the best reviewer out of everyone in fucking EG. And um. I don't, I mean... Sumo will probably <laughs> ignore so wrong. that, oh. but I think Force uh, is by far the fucking best reviewer. I think fucking Robert Suma is the I best I think Robert reviewer. Suma is the worst Ever. reviewer I of mean, all three I of think. the hosts. Uh, and so I would like to see Force producing additional segments that may appear on EG, but also would be released during the week. I mean, do you guys realize how many fucking games Force's plays that we never even talk about? Like, even if he was recording three minutes about the game in his Force-like ways and then being released on the show, you know, I you'd, mean... You'd have an hour show. You could possibly get more Force because of this change rather than less Force. I mean, you also realize how awkward it is for him because he's not live in the studio. He's going over this. He often gets overpowered. I often feel bad about this. But Force is a part of the EG family. So we've thought about this shit. The question is, is yes, Force will be on every Thursday. And hopefully, in addition to that, is that Force is going to have additional resources now to be able to make other... You know, he could be he's, on there. He wants to. He wants to also. Uh, you know, he wants to make. Uh, he wants to talk about video or uh, comics that you guys should be reading. He wants to talk about movies that you guys should be watching. Nice. He wants to do gaming and a little bit beyond that. So we got another caller. All right, caller. 
Um, and hopefully that answers most of the questions about forests. And guys, you know, call in, feel free. This is an open forum right now. Um, anything goes. Caller, what's on your mind? Hey, this is Antarius. <laughs> um, I can't talk through the phone. Um, this so caller is so devastated I, uh, that we're going back to a weekly format. <laughs> Hello? DJ uh, Week two times. So Martin. Going straight to vo voicemail. Oh, hey. Yeah, you're on, buddy. All right, cool. Um, this is Antarius. We can't hear him, Hogan. Hogan. That's my fault. They can't hear you. All right, go ahead. Hello? Hello. Hi. Hey. What's up? Hey. This is Antarius. Um, I was just wondering, I heard about an Eye of Judgment tournament. Is that still going on? Yes, it will still go on. And this is additionally one of the things. Uh, you guys heard me last week um, talk about we want to incorporate more activities that uh, involve EG, involve the EG community, involve the EG fans. And one of those activities that we were talking about was tournaments that we can run and admin and give prizes for on GGL.com. One of the reasons why we haven't been able to get this started, because it seems like such a simple concept and seems so trivial, but again, don't forget, I walk in this fucking door at 8 o'clock, I work on EG till 2.30. That basically gives me an hour to work on anything else, and that's just not enough time to get some of this stuff done. So yes, tournaments is another area that we want to complement the rest of the week on. You know, we want to be able to uh, throw these tournaments, whether it be Eye of Judgment, which is the first beta tournament we are going to do, and you're going to want to check out epileptogaming.com to watch out for that. But that's going to give us time to work on that kind of shit. We want to have more contests for you guys. Quite frankly, we just don't have enough fucking time to develop <laughs> contests. Like, it's that bad, you guys. We're not making this shit up. We're just stretched really Go thin. look at the other crap that's on the internet, guys. Go yeah. look at the other shows that are allegedly popular. I mean, you could see it right there. I mean, it's it's so obvious to us, and it's got to be obvious to you guys as well. I well, mean, maybe not to everyone, but caller, the exactly. answer is yes. Exactly, as Cross said, what other shows? Not I mean, only <laughs> are we going to be doing this Eye of Judgment tournament, that's sort of our inaugural tournament that we've been talking about, but we want to have a tournament every week. You know, that's something That'd we can't do. Ass. Because we're too busy fucking trying to drum up content for the show. This is give us more time to work on the show throughout the week, therefore give you better product, and to bring you these other shows and other activities that you're going to be able to do throughout the week. We, we're, not, we're not looking to abandon the community when it comes to things to do, shit oh, to watch, and far, stuff to no read. Way. Um, if anything, we're, just, we're looking to actually amplify that a little bit. So um, tournaments is another big area that we would like to cool. be doing more of. Um, you know, for prizes and stuff, and and for yeah. Also, I got I gotta say that I'm a really big fan of epilepsy gaming, and I've always wanted to be like a part of the like the community in a way. I want to be part of the tournaments and things like that. And I know that Suma made a Warhawk clan a while ago, and I've tried to um, sign up for that thing, but I think it's pretty much dead now. I'm not sure about that. But yeah, that's just, just send like me a message. Well, just just send me a message uh, on the PS3. And right? again, my PS3 is F9 Phoenix. Part of the problem is, is that in all honesty, I don't have time to play fucking Warhawk because you know what? I get in at eight o'clock in the morning and I leave here at seven. I go home. I put my kid to bed. I want to watch some fucking TV. Yeah, occasionally I get to play some Call of Duty Four. <laughs> You guys don't realize it, but this, by me going weekly with this, this means I can actually play some games now. I can actually dive into some of the MMOs that I've been wanting to dive into, you know? <laughs> I've been wanting to look at some of the games that people have been asking us to review that I haven't had the chance to play. Um, so from that perspective, like, you, you know, just take my word for it, but the amount of free time that's, like, coming out of this is pretty substantial. And, and... You know, I want to add in, not not that this weekly thing is going to mean that uh, we'll have shit to do all week and then bam, there's a show. We're going to be working for the show all week and we can prepare for that one main thing instead right. of every day putting all our energy into one hour of the show. The next day doing the same thing, one hour into the show, when we could spend all that free time that we will now have in playing other games and doing other productions and, and other shows. At, you know, hentai tentacle porn. Of course. And, you know, Just it's all for the better of the show. That I love to do. We got another caller. Hey, wait, and, uh, yes. real quick. Uh, real quick caller. Hold video on Video game second. related, actually. Uh, this guy had this problem with his PS3. I wonder if you've ever heard or seen this because I never have. Robert, so he says he turned it on and it says the it says that it's telling him the hard disk database will be rebuilt. That's probably Every a good time? thing. I don't know. Every time, dude, Every with weird name that is just symbols. Is it every time? Oh, it's the dude that I did the video chat with. Okay, he said yes every time. Just I would just return it's it. It's a dude he did a video yeah. chat with. Too. I would just 
you know, you still have yes, a warranty. Cammy. I have no idea. I've never, I never heard, heard of it. that, Mr. Suma. So. Yeah. Sorry, caller, to keep you waiting. What's up? Sorry. Caller. Hello. Caller. Yeah. Yo, what's up? Hi. Please. Um, I just, I, after reflecting on the news, I think it's going to be really um, positive for, I, I'm a new watcher. I've only been watching for about a week or so. And I think this, this change is just going to be like a really exciting event and uh, really fun to see what comes out of it, uh, meaning the variations of news and, and talk yeah, and tournaments. I think it's just going to be a lot varied for That's the awesome. uh, just random uh, person who uh, tunes in. I think it's going to be more of a thing where we just kind of um, ex expect a lot from you guys, and then it'll be a lot of fun for us to just participate more as a, as a community, too. Right the fuck on, dude. And That's you know what? Sick. There, I, I, I'm glad a sort of new viewer got to call in and check it out and give his perspective because I think that most of the people who are going to complain are the guys that have gotten so used to watching The Daily Show. Mm -hmm. And I understand, you know, it, to me it was like the same thing once Howard Stern w went off a 97.1 and went to XM. I listen to that motherfucker every morning in the car for an hour on the way into work. Like, all of a sudden, he wasn't there. I'm listening to Adam Carolla, and I'm like, yeah. oh, man, I don't think Adam's going to be able to do it. A week later, I'm like, man, fuck Howard. Adam is the man. You know, He's it's like, awesome. just, uh, I, I'm Open glad to see yeah. that, that being a new mind. user, having a fresh sort of pair of eyes on it, you probably have the best opinion that I think you could give on the show. Mm -hmm. So to have you call in and say that you're excited for these changes, that makes That's me happy. Again. That makes me excited because I am also fucking excited for these changes. And whether you're seeing that conveyed or not, um, you know, I, I want to know what we're capable of, you know? Like, I want to put something else into perspective. You guys saw our Tom Cruise video, right? We did that in probably about an hour and a half. You know, imagine if we had four days to put together our segments. You guys, we have ideas that we are just like, are so fucking out there and are so big, but we can't do them because we don't have the time. Now we're gonna have the time to do, to implement these big ideas. And that is what is most important to me. So, caller, thank you very much for thank pointing you. that out, especially from a new, fresh perspective. I hope that we can live up to that. And you know what, if we don't, you know what we're going to revert back to. We're going to have our daily show. You know, yeah, it could change here and there, but we, we've we got a safety net. You know, you've been watching it for the past year. It's a, called the EG Daily Show. I want to fucking go the next step, you know? I want people... I, I already know we're better than G4. I want Fuck people yeah, at G4 to go, these guys are fucking better than us. And I don't think we're going to do that. Speaking, speaking on that already. point... I used to watch that back when it was Tech TV, and it was pretty good for a while, but then they started doing all these weird changes, and it didn't really fit, and they started taking it off not, like off the regular cable and stuff. And I've been trying to find these kind of shows like yours that are different and trying to do things more uh, you know, up-to-date and more and what, and what I was so. And what I was saying before is that, guys, with all these other shows that are coming, it's still the same people that make yes. EG. It's still the same spirit. It's still the same, you know, fuck you industry norm. Like, it's still Mindset. the same people behind it, same views, same voice, same dedication. Everything's the same. It's just a different name and a different way of, of presenting. Yeah, that, that, that sounds really good. Well, thank you Thanks, very buddy. much, Carl. Thank you. Really, really appreciate it. You have no idea. Thank you. Um, all right, we've got we've got oh, Mr. God. Fucking. Oh, fuck. <laughs> the hosts are lazy himself, DJ Two Times. He's been through you know a lot of the roller coasters when it comes to like EG first going video. So I'm really going to be interested to hear his thoughts on this. Hello, DJ Two Times. You're breaking this my heart, guys. DJ Lazy. Oh. What am I supposed to do with the rest of my time? You can watch the watch other shows. <laughs> no, man. No, I don't. I don't know. The only uh, thing I see good coming from this is less sumo. Um, <laughs> what a fucker. But uh, no, uh, switching to a like a one or two <laughs> times a day kind of or a week format is scaring me because I remember back in the day I used to watch the show and um, some of those times I'd have to go out and do my job and I'd miss the show, and I don't like watching the VODs. I want to watch it live. That's where it's at. I like hanging out with my friends here on the chat, making fun of Fat Baby, et cetera. Um, so I'm going to miss a lot of that. Well, and I I'm, mean, uh, you know, don't good. forget, and again, two times, you know, we're going to do the Colin show. I think that's going to be one that that's if you are an EG you. fan, you're <laughs> going to fucking love this show. I mean, I just, uh, I just think there's no doubt about it. And, um, you know, so, like, you take that into perspective. 
I think that Up All Night's been pretty well received. I would actually like to. Everyone's do more asking when it's gonna up be. Up all nights. Yeah, yeah, I mean yeah. that we get so many fucking emails. When's next up all night? It's like, well, dude, I gotta stop working on EG a second so we can do some up all night. You know, right. like we've already got the next four up all nights mapped out. You know, we're ready to rock and roll on this shit. Again, it's about time. It's about how much time do we have to do this? How many? Re how much resources? And I understand for a lot of guys that have gotten used to doing the Daily Show, um, you know, it's gonna be it's gonna be different. And yeah, it's gonna be fucking different. But in addition, I hope that sort of all the additional content that's that's coming out will, will help make up for that. And, you know, two times, we also have been thinking about some other cool stuff that we thought. You know, starting February 19th, we're going to have done one year of daily shows. I want to fucking start airing one year ago today on Epileptic oh, wow. Gaming. So all the new people that have not yet seen all the old shit that won't have the opportunity to do that, you know, I'm gonna fucking start airing that for him. <laughs> you know, that, kick ass. What? You know what's great? What? Mm -hmm. uh, Cyber Speed actually just I suggested something that we had already talked about as far as uh, keeping all the new shows organized. He's like, are you guys going to post like a little graphic maybe that shows what is on on what days? Yes. I mean, that's exactly what yes. we're planning on doing. Yes. Yeah. So you're going to see changes here, and they're all going to be you know, for the better, but I, 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 you know, two times I understand, I, I hear you loud and clear, but certainly I know you respect and I think understand the amount of effort that does go into something like this. Oh, I do. Like I said, you got, you have a, a lot of people fooled when you had the couch set up and everything, the brick background makes it look like you guys are just doing a janky little show off the top of your heads, but, um, you guys do a lot of pr preparing. I think and, if you like watch said, this show and pay attention, you can tell that it's not off the top yeah, not of everybody can just get on the fucking cam and sound interesting and be entertaining yeah, no, as you can. guys. So you guys do it well. A lot of people just don't see the effort that goes into and it. Dude, two times we're gonna bring that to all the other shows. That that. Well, you know, I believe you guys will. I trust you. All right, I trust you too, man. <laughs> I, don't I trust, trust you also. Yo, I trust you. We good. I trust, I trust you, you, but I don't trust Suma. Okay, we don't Nobody should trust this guy. <laughs> Look at those Look at eyes. Him. Look at those beady little eyes. Fidgety little brain in there. Um, you know, again, it's, I, I mean, uh, yeah. Oh, wow, we're almost to an hour already. Wow, yeah. yeah. Nice to finally meet quick. you two times. Um, nice to meet you, Kim. Two times we won't let you down, brother. You know what? And, and honestly, you guys, it's like I expect some hate for the next few days, for the next week. That's fine. I can take it. You've seen me on there. You know, you guys bitch about Cammy, and I'm like, you guys bitched about fucking Sumu when he came on the video. You guys <laughs> bitched about when Camera was on the first time. It's like, I don't care, you guys. Bitch and, and complain. I read all that shit, trust me, and I oh. take all that shit into consideration. But, um, you know, at least if you're going to bitch, do some constructive bitching. Like, I want to know why you think the show could be an hour every day. You know, because I think I have a 5,000 reasons why it shouldn't be. <laughs> um, you know, so I'm welcoming those. Like I said, this is a done deal. We're down the path now. This has been greenlit. This is happening. There's not much you could say that's going to change it. But your feedback and your criticism can help us immensely in, you know, guiding this fucking new vehicle the right way. So, uh, and I know two times you're always fucking giving us your feedback and criticism, so... Um, I'm yeah, not worried about you. you. I'm talking about everyone else. I'm talking about everybody else. So, all right, bro. We won't let you down, dude. We won't let you down. Peace. <laughs> I trust you. Doctor. <laughs> doctor. 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 All right, doctor. 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 Thanks two times. Uh, we want. Oh, I see Mumbles is calling. Let's take Mumbles. Oh, God. oh fuck. Yeah, I'll take Mumbles. Can we take some? Yo. Else? Hey, what's up? Hey. Hi, hey, buddy. What's up? What's our, what's up, EG's I gotta resident say, bro, ham. Moderating Shut chat up. today was fucking terrible. You what? <laughs> moderating the chat today, it was terrible. I can I'll be imagine. Honest. I can imagine. QQ. <laughs> Honestly, well, Suma, you know, you should know what I'm going through right now. Yeah, no, I just, I just Martin. slash ignore, oh. Martin. I yeah. just slash ignore. No, Trust he doesn't. Me. He fucking right. bans everybody. <laughs> <laughs> and I slash ban. Martin actually <laughs> moderates. Suma just watches. What are your thoughts, bans? Martin? Yeah. <laughs> Dude, I'm, I'm very excited and curious to see how the new format pays out. Um, I'm back from the day where weekly shows were um, the norm, and right. it was always great times. And I've seen all uh, Wheat's other uh, shoutcasts, his matchcasting, and 
dude, these people do not know what they're missing. You know, this is epic. Fuck yeah, dude. Guys, That's what we need to end the show with. Mumble. You guys don't even have fucking any fucking clue yet, dude. You haven't even seen the side of wheat yet, dogs. You haven't even seen that Tomorrow's shit. Tomorrow's calling show. I've been stuck in this motherfucking yeah. chair with a camera in my fucking face. It's you haven't even seen the fucking shit I'm about to drop on you your ass. You don't even know. Exactly. Well, or heard it, you know, whatever. Anyway, regardless of what um, Hayden might come out now, um, you know the hardcore crowd as your back, and um, we'll Aww. keep them up in style. Don't worry. Nice. Amen, brother. Aww. Appreciate it. I think that was a fantastic show to, or a fantastic call to, to wrap things up with. Mumbles, even as a troll, you say something nice every once in a while. So tomorrow you, at 5, is we're going to do the call-in show? Yeah, people are gonna, you know, that's why I think that tomorrow we should just do it at four. At four? Okay. Yeah. Well, that's what I wanted. Originally. I'm, I'm trumping that decision right there. I think it, I yeah. think it makes sense. Now, we uh, in, in the future, what? Okay, Fat Baby, we got one more call. Oh, he, he dropped. Fat Baby, call in again. Okay. Um, uh, so, tomorrow, four o'clock, special show. It's gonna be through Stickum, gonna be through Ustream. You'll watch it just like you normally would in EG. Well, have we Sign decided on the. Our, Will there be VODs available of that show or no? I think that's another question people. So in case, you know, if they miss it live, I don't know. Do people yes. want do people have to be there live? There will be VODs. There will be okay. Oh. Well you can't participate. Yes, but yeah. live if you're not. You just there. can't participate. We it's gonna be like call for help. Maybe except one big fucking our own cool spin. Oh. Right, really is right. what it is. Exactly. Yeah. Hello. I either have my cell phone turned off or I'm out of range. If you can just leave your Fail. name and know. I tried calling him back. Oh. Okay. oh. He's in our office. Fat baby. Fat baby He's probably leaving a message. Yeah. I saw. Fat I saw. Fat I saw. Baby. Had the perfect comment. I, uh, what? Like, the majority of the viewers have an attention span of a goldfish. <laughs> do, do you do what you gotta do? And remember, you can't spell epileptic gaming without epic. Ooh. Oh, that's pretty sick. <laughs> that's a shirt I right saw. there, dude. I saw. Epic. I wow. saw. Wait, Epic's not an epileptic. Yeah, it is. If you mix the letters, you know. If you take out the lefty. If you take out, yeah. Like, yeah. it's. Eptic? It's eptic. There what you are you go. talking about? You're I did it the, right. Uh, you're giving the Sigum people a little treat. GG, <laughs> 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 oh, maybe. GG. My bad. We had a plumber in here. Uh, <laughs> no, there wasn't any crack. It wasn't All right, a coin we ready slot. then? Is, no coin slot. Fat baby. Yo. Hey, hey. Fat baby. Can't you guys go back to the original, original format? No. Oh my God. Three <laughs> hours every week. Of four people. Listening. Yeah. You know yeah. what? If everyone listened to internet radio through a fucking little AM radio thing and video wasn't a thing of the future. What's funny, we Absolutely. What's funny, we is that the majority of gaming, you know, shows or, pre, you know, products they podcasts. give are the old ass podcast. I know. I mean. Sorry that we live in the fucking 21st century and we're doing everything that video probably related like 10 now, years but, ago. you know, these people have to do podcasts because they're fucking ugly. They have no <laughs> acting ability. They, they have fucking Fisher no Price no wind talent. up cameras that no they talent. use. So, you know, keep watching that shit or like Suma said, Fucking, you know, it's just EG content under different umbrellas done by the same people. If you like what we did here and you like what we did there, we then can do you're better. just going to get more of it all over the place. So, you know, Fat Baby, you've been through three hours to two hours to to the weekly video to the daily video. Now back to the weekly video. No matter how we've done it, the show's been great, right? Yeah. There you go. There you go. <laughs> fucking this guy's been listening since the very first fucking podcast, and he's listened to every goddamn show, and no matter whether it's been on radio, over internet radio, over weekly video, over daily video, over fucking individual clips, over whatever, it's still been good. Even on Maxim, we still rocked it That's hard right. on Sirius. That's right. So <laughs> Fat Baby speaks the truth, and there you go. Oh, I mean, Fat Baby. This, I confirm the VODs, Tony. Fight the so, fight, bitches. But is, 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 does this mean that Nice Guy Yet and Grayscale will get their own show now? I don't know. Who? Oh. Uh, <laughs> Zuma doesn't even know. What a clown. I know. What a clown. All right, guys. Let's wrap up this show. Thanks, Alex. All right. Thanks, dog. I'll uh, see you. All right, guys, so you know what? Spread the word. Make your forum topics. It's okay. We're going to have our call-in show tomorrow. Yeah, if you guys still hate it. Post in the forum. Tell us why you hate it. Give yeah. us all the best reasons. And you know what? 
maybe you'll change our minds. You probably won't. No, you won't. Yeah. But, but, <laughs> but I will, I'd be more than happy to show my bosses the stuff right, that you guys exactly. write. And I don't want you to just write fucking hate to try to change it. But give it. it a chance, too. I want you to give it a chance yeah. and then give, give a us weeks. a legitimate, you know? Like, you may find yourself going, God, you guys, you should have been doing this months ago. And then we'll be like, ha ha. Exactly. Remember, a month from remember now. Remember you spam it's... stick them when we made the announcement with no, no and now you're coming back on your word? Same thing, guys. Yeah, it's going to be a little bit different. Yeah, change is kind of and, and you know what's cool for the viewers now? Just like Fat Baby's been there for all the evolution and iteration. Now you've been You guys through. now are here for yes. the iteration. And now you're special. You are the guy. Like, I remember ground. when this shit was yes. on every day and it sucked. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, like, I remember when EG was every it. day on the internet? That was weird. <laughs> yeah. Now, yeah. Now, it's, you know, now it's on every channel and plugged into my brain. <laughs> <laughs> but only With once that, a week. That yeah, contact. Only once a week. All right, guys. Uh, I'm definitely going to be keeping a close eye on the forums tonight. Guys, I appreciate all of your uh, criticism, feedback, whether it's positive or negative. You see our email up there right now, epilepticgaming at gmail.com. I have a feeling we're going to be getting a lot of it. You can certainly send in your no's, your yay's, your hurrah's, your oh my god. Guys, it's not going to be I'm G4. Life. It's not that. <laughs> yeah, what It's still the think? same awesome EG content. Fuck shit. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> like, you it's know. It's still by us. We're not getting, you know, we're like, not getting Morgan Webb in here. And yeah, people, <laughs> like, again, I want to do... You know what? We already talked about yeah. this. I'm not going to fucking... Rewatch it. You can rewatch the whole fucking show. I've already said what there's to say. If you don't understand, then you fucking haven't listened to everything that we've said. Ask questions. We're going to be doing the call-in show tomorrow. tomorrow. We'll take additional questions tomorrow. Right, Suma? Right. I right. Mean, we'll have so like a couple hours tomorrow. You've now got... Just straight calling. You've now got a little bit of time to think, to let it sink in, to sizzle. Write it down. You know, if you are nope. feeling Same time, guys. Four o'clock. Uneasy. PM, PSD. I want you to call the suicide hotline. All right. I don't. Boys want, and girls club. That's my cell phone. Number, no, no way. playing around. If you're, if you're not feeling good about this. Boys town. If you're questioning, that's right. PS Reology. Suicide, suicide it's hotline. Okay. PS Reology. Right. It's okay. uh, with that being said, guys, we're gonna wrap it up. Epileptic Gaming 148.1. Maybe the last time we ever see a dot one, guys, uh. so enjoy it. I want to thank over mm. on Chat Moderation World Famous, Robert Suma. Till tomorrow. Be seeing you tomorrow on Til the tomorrow. brand new call. I can't show. wait because I, I like listening to some of those classic shows of where it's just this rabbit. <laughs> and then all of a sudden you cut in every once in a while and talk. And... <laughs> <laughs> of course, we got camera over on production <laughs> whose life just got a gazillion times easier. Maybe. Maybe. We'll see. Yeah, but people don't like people would probably like camera does the least on the show. <laughs> you have no fun. He does the most. You dumbasses. <laughs> you know yeah. those people that built the pyramids? Yeah. No way. That, that no, was Hogan. You guys, you I was guys one of those slaves. No this little studio, but you understand like when <laughs> we did that that Scientology video, it may have it may have only uh, taken us like 30 40 minutes to shoot, but we made 3 hours of work for Hogan in the process. So you know, Poor he had Hogan. to put the studio back together. That's true. Awesome. When the show started last Friday, guys, that was like I had plugged in the last cable and yeah. the show started. So yeah. there you go. So. All right, guys. And, of course, we've got Cami, the Burnt Matches, and I'm DJ Wheat World's Ida Shubin. And join us tomorrow for myself and Suma's brand-new call-in show. And we guarantee you we'll have a little bit of fun. And if you guys still got questions, still got comments, oh, concerns, what? what? No matter how many times we say something, people just... <laughs> Uh, no, end of show. And, and, and. Guys. Same time, same place, same bad time. Go. Same bad place. We Go shouldn't have told anybody it was going to be different. All right. <laughs> yeah. We'll, uh, we'll see you tomorrow, but not for EG, for something new. You're just going to have to call, or you're just going to have to just uh, come by and check it out. So with that being said, peace. Around, just comes around. Nod your head till you get your neck fixed. Just got served by the bestest in the brand's epileptic. Serving nerds on a daily basis. Never pulling punches, so we give them literal facelifts. Without we you'd a lot of human on the planet. Camera in the back, people put your hands up, goddammit. And my boy Robert Suma bring it to you. Make you deaf with the noise. He a soldier, you a tulip. And uh, y'all get his shoe fucked right after the credits. In the hood like the Ku Klux. Better call the medic so you can forget it. Cause we just the best in the industry. The mother talk shows basically just suck dick to me. Tyler stepping up, holding it down. Rants, holler back. Let a rapper know you still around. He was the key to the show. Should have tied him to a kite. And of course, we got force. No remorse for your sight. Bring it live all day, every day. Epileptic gaming, everybody. Let's play, let's play.
bring it live all day, every day. Epileptic gaming, everybody with play. Let's give me a groupie and a two-piece, talking dirty on stick. I'm drive me up the wall, sit my balls on the screen so you could lick them. Kicking the door, EG running through the flame. Y'all can hate the player, but you better not hate the game. We will not take the hate, so you better think it through. EG playing on veteran, why you stuck up on recruit? It's the E to the B I L E P T I C to the G A M I N G. A motherfucker, we man, but don't take it personal. I'd rather flip my Jeep over and land on a convertible. Then spend a second playing tennis with a me. Hit me up on COD, I'll let you know how we hang. Got big balls, don't even front. And every single evening at 7 p.m., we rack them up. Epileptic gaming, now you'll know how we play. Split you down the middle, sell whatever's left on eBay. Bring it live all day, 